This is the document. It's pretty simple, the 20 questions. And you could, at the most elementary level, just fill it out, uh, figure out which questions you can't answer. If you can't answer the boss's biggest hot button or the boss's vision for the organization or the boss's blind spot, well, you might just quietly go about becoming a reporter and getting those answers and putting that knowledge to work. A better way, I think, is to get together with your boss. The boss fills it out for himself or herself, the answers that are correct, and then you fill it out with your best guesses, and then you compare the two. Now, I've seen people do this, and it leads to some terrific conversations and some knowledge that you really can put to work to both of your benefit. One other way I've, I've used this is to take it into organizations and bring a team together. The boss answers the questions for himself or herself, and then the team members all answer the questions about the boss, and then check to see who gets the most right answers. There's a lot of laughter involved, especially when we talk about that boss's passion outside work and we hear about golf or we hear about uh, the PTA or the kids and the families. And we ask questions like, the boss is respected by his or her own bosses for what skills? All of those answers help you understand your boss and how to frame your conversations, how to respond in writing or in person, depending on what that boss wants for big or small problems. You know, I don't think this is any miracle. What I think it is, is an excuse for you to have a conversation that you otherwise might not have. An excuse to keep from guessing about something as important as your relationship with your boss.